Alaska has been a big place for discovery for years. Um, I can remember a show called Extreme Alaska in 1999, where I remember we talked about it as California on steroids. So Alaska, because it's so big and vast and wild and cold and outrageous, has always been a great place for discovery. And so Deadliest Catch has been running. It's now coming into its fifth season. And we've had lots of Alaska specials. So out of the wild for us is just a continuation of our love affair with Alaska because it's such a wild and crazy place. The real in reality shows has started to, to, to lose some of its meaning and in our show the people really are in a difficult situation. They really are starving. Um, they really are cold and they really do have to fend for themselves. The on, their only way out is to punch the GPS and call in the medevac helicopter and, and then they're, they're gone from the, from the ordeal. Other than that, uh, an indicator of how bad things get is the first meal that they have is uh, a mouse that they catch out in the field and skin and cut up into eight portions uh, for eight different people. That's hungry if you're going to eat one eighth of a mouth of a mouse. And uh, that's kind of the situation that they're in and out of the wild. So it, it, it's not like there's a, you know, a fake challenge or a tiki torch or somebody's going to get kicked off the island. Uh, this is the real thing and that's what Discovery is all about. Discovery has a lot of latitude and always has. We can do history and science and natural history and shows about human ingenuity. And we've got a lot of series coming on, one called One Way Out with an escapologist, a modern day Harry Houdini named Jonathan Goodwin who gets himself into ridiculous scrapes and then actually has to extricate himself from them. And we think that's gonna be a great series. There's a lot of science of es escape artistry in, in the series. Um, another one is The Detonators, about this team of people who teach people how to do controlled detonations and explosions and they, we follow them around the country as they oversee demolitions and explosion bridges and all kinds of things that have to be done in very controlled precise circumstances. So we've got a lot of really good solid programming coming up that uh, continues to push the envelope for discovery but stay within the, the discovery brand. I think the best thing we can do is give people something to do when they're at home and that's watch TV that's really terrific because addressing the economy is the job of somebody like CNBC, not, not really us. We're not going to give you a whole lot of insight into the economy. Although we do have a show that has something to do with the economy coming up uh, that's working titled um, but wait, there's more, uh, which is about these people uh, who, who, who find products, get them manufactured, and sell them on TV, these pitchmen. And that show is coming to us in the second quarter. We're pretty excited about it because it profiles human ingenuity in a really interesting way.